So this is Crowkeeper Studios in Sacramento, and I wanted to talk a little bit today about Suno AI. It is an AI that allows you to generate songs uh, in a single prompt, or you know, you just type in a couple uh, words and uh, press generate, and out comes a song filled with uh, typical production stuff too. Um, so you can expect swells and double vocals popping out and you know a lot of the poppier elements of modern metal um stuff that you know has existed in pop music for like 30 years a lot of that stuff shows its face in in modern metal and it shows its face in the suno ai and um so if you ask it to generate you uh ambient progressive gent that's exactly what it's going to do for you and it's going to do it in a way that sounds like an amalgamation of all the bands that you've ever, you know, really heard. And um, so it can sound good, but it sounds very much the same. And one of the complaints that I just saw, which is the reason why I'm making this video, is a guy said something about how that undermines and cheapens... Um, all the effort that he's put in his life, he's a little bit of an older guy, all the effort that he's put in his life to even learn how to play uh, music. It kind of cheapens musicianship overall. And I think that that is true to an extent, but I think the other part is the fact that the stuff that comes out of it sounds the same. And it sounds the same because it is averaging out um, the stuff that's uploaded to YouTube and Spotify and stuff like that at every moment of every day. So when the vast majority of people, uh, like in actual bands and stuff, are uploading similar get good drum snare samples, it eventually learns that that kind of snare sound is what a snare should sound like in this genre. And... So it kind of uh, pigeonholes you into that sound. And the same thing happens with the guitar tones and the bass tones and, you know, all of these other production elements that are happening within these songs. They end up being very samey because, well, it learned off of an average of sounds that were very much close together to begin with. Uh, what it would have a very difficult time doing is learning... Um, individual random sounds, you know, like it's going to be much more difficult for it to copy a St. Anger kind of snare sound or something, you know, like those old deathcore pingy sounds, you know, they just constitute such a small number of, of bands' drum sounds relative to, you know, the canon, short, fat uh, kind of you know, snare sound, low-pitched snare sound that you hear on fucking everything now. Um, that's where I think, uh, you know, here I am, I'm writing a song of my own, and uh, you know the deal here. You know how I work. Uh, I'm always doing the real thing. It's I'm not going to use triggers. There's no fucking samples. Um... The guitars are going to be run through an amp. It's it's always going to be as natural as I can make it because that's as unique as it can be, you know. And it it offers the most amount of um, variables and variety. Um, so when one band comes and record and another band comes to record, there's going to be a difference in sound just by virtue of how you're playing it and the fact that there are different instruments, and different cabs and mics and you know, everything that's going on. It's just all different. And the AI is going to have a very, very difficult time capturing any of that sort of thing because it's so random. Um, but what it can do very, very well is average out the sounds that are done by the vast majority of bands and give you a sound that makes you feel like you're, well, listening to the average listening to an average metalcore band in 2024 or gent band or deathcore or death metal band and it's going to do you the same shit that you've heard like a million times before. Same stuff I complain about all the time. Uh, I think that where that dude was complaining about it 
um, you know, guy on Facebook complaining about how it's cheapens musicians. That's the part that I think he's missing. It's okay, then stop doing what the AI is good at. Uh, if the AI is good at giving you these snare sample stuff, stop sampling your fucking snare drum then. Use a real drum and, and let it be what the hell it's going to be. Um, because that's where you have the most variety and that's where you're going to be able to stand out now, not only against other bands that are doing the exact same shit that you are with, you know, the Get Good and the Neural DSP and on and on and on it goes, but, and these fake bass plugins, you know, um, which all have, you know, very, there are, many of them are all trying to do this ding wall sound, um, with distortion and stuff like that. Um... If it's good at doing that, stop doing it. That that's gonna get you nowhere. Especially when now it can be generated at by a person who's never even spent any time playing music. They they've not put in any effort at all. And they just, you know, type in some stuff, press enter, and out spits a song in, you know, seconds, uh, a minute, you know. Um so there it is, you know, it's something that's interesting. It's going to present a, a challenge to, um, you know, a lot of musicians who now you're going to be competing against not only other bands, you're going to be competing with AI that can do the same stuff that you're doing because you're doing the samey stuff that's, uh, you know, flooding the market already. And now it's just, it's even worse, um, you know. If you need real drums or something like that, uh, <laughs> don't mind hitting me up and, um, you know, we'll do something that's uh, not very AI-ish at all. But, uh, yeah, it's an interesting problem and, um, you know, I think it's, it's only going to get more interesting as time goes on. So, there you have it. Check it out. Suno AI. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy stuff.